Pro 100 versus Na'Vi, an unranked squad versus ESL's world number one. It is going to be quite the clash and a step towards the cash as well. Let's see how this one shapes up as we're finally into game. Off we go then. It will be Pro 100 on the T side here. It's a map that Na'Vi are very well versed in. It's simple. It's been throwing the CZ and armor combination. It works out for that first kill, no problem. But still, a lot of presence here towards Oof. middle. There will be a couple of kills brought back, but simple. He's got towards second middle here. He's going for the huge backstab. Pro 100 will have two players making their way towards the A side. But if they go for a default plan, they're in a lot of trouble. Fortunately, it's defensive. But simple. He's heard everything. He knows there's one player towards the pit, one on the bomb site, and he's looking for blood. He should just get it right. Nickelback's going to get a little inquisitive. One. Spotted. Your kinder goes go down. And that's the end of that one. Neat and tidy. Boomich finding his second. Na'Vi will take the pistol. Well, there we have it. Na'Vi with a, a little adjustment chat. I'm not sure if you caught that. They gave Simple the CZ one second before the contact towards middle came through. So okay. they, they chucked it over as he heard some footsteps, I think. He said, oh, you want the gun? Yeah, here you go, boss. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Give me a CZ. Give me a CZ. <laughs> and then uh, threw it over. He gets a quick kill. Goes to second middle. And sure, the plan comes through. And Na'Vi will be happy with that one. It's always a, a difficult pistol to fend off. And it's five players entering one single choke point, And the deep comes through. So I am expecting a buy here for Pro 100. A couple of AKs, maybe some Desert Eagles. Let's see what they've got. Three AK-47s and two Deagles. So actually, not bad at all. Two of the players do have helmets as well. That's Yekindar and World Edit. How are we pronouncing that? Yekindar? I, I'm just going to say Yekindar. 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 Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. as in it's your... Right. Kinder egg. Yekinder. Like a kinder surprise. Your kinder. But Go less, ahead. oh, Flamey, he's doing the boomy troll. He's pushing down banana. He's actually going to get one. So we're going to keep our eyes on this banana position a lot as the fray goes on through. There's been some woes and wobbles Ooh. and worries from Na'Vi, but Ooh. there is more for Nickelback as he gets burnt on down. That's two quick kills. They haven't even seen anybody yeah, just and yet. Yeah, that's two of the rifles as well, Chad. It could not have really gone any worse. Unarmored AK-47s is their best bet now, and that aggression down banana, yeah, you say we're going to keep checking in with it. It's worth reminding everyone why we'll keep checking in with it. There is somewhat of a suicidal tendency to the play of Ooh. Boomich at times. Waylander in a prime position to collect if they go any more aggressive. It doesn't seem like they're particularly interested. Ooh, timing. Flamey tucking and getting himself dug into a more passive line. They don't need to take any more fights. The mission pretty much accomplished at this point. Yeah, absolutely. You can see Waylander here. Uh, that is correct. Here's the Finnish flag. He's part Finnish and Russian as well. So it's going to be Boomish to remove out of the equation here. And now just World Edit and Dima trying to make their way through towards the B bomb site. At this point, if they get a plan down, it'll be a miracle. Three players here for now. It should just be a matter of time as they remove another AK-47. Not a single kill found, boys, here. Hell of a bonus round and three AKs scooped up by Na'Vi, it's Boomer with three frags, takes his total up to five and zero, and it's gonna have to be the eco now for Pro 100. A, a difficult start. Bit of a dream start, isn't it? That's, uh, you couldn't ask for anything better on the CT side of Inferno to have those AKs up this early. So this one should be a clean sheet again from the Na'Vi side of things. I don't expect them to have too many worries going up against just some upgraded pistols without armor. Dimisic has Kevlar. There's no flashes out to play though, Henry. You know, we get excited when we see at least a flash. We need a little bit of utility. You do need the, the one flash bang, and then there's a chance you can catch them off guard and then upgrade that pistol to a rifle. Then who knows what can happen. But without the flash bang, it's difficult to imagine a world where that could happen. Yeah, it only takes one $200 investment to give our casters faith. They're cheap fellas. Exactly. That's all it takes. You can buy their faith for 200 bucks. Alex, what was your favorite Nickelback song in the day? Are we talking like um, the classics or do you like the underground stuff, the B-sides? It was the Silver Side Up album. Okay, you actually know the album names. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Why, what did you like about the album? Well, um, it was kind of in, you know, my 11-year-old mind, like some pretty he heavy rock. <laughs> some interesting topics. Heavy themes. rock, yeah, the bottom of every bottle. He's been down <laughs> to the bottom of every bottle. And that just resonated with you at the time, Mom, what right? does that mean? Is that like Alice in Wonderland? Exactly. Does he get shrunk and go in the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, his boomage. Chad, his form wasn't that impressive at EPL, right? It was we, terrible. We, we didn't really enjoy that at all, but he's looking relatively sharp in the first few rounds, I'll say that much. Yeah, and we can compare it just to his form at Katowice, right? Because that's the last thing everybody remembers Absolutely. is this man absolutely destroying on Nuke 
And then he comes into EPL where things are obviously a little bit different. We have round robins, we have best of threes, we have a, a lot of bits and pieces going on, but he looked like a shadow of his former self. Everybody had cottoned on to his tendencies. And that's why we're raising some level of alarm right here within this game against Pro 100, because if he gets exploited in the same way, if he hasn't changed things up at all, well, then he's just a bit of a stubborn mule, isn't but he? But everyone gets that, right? Everyone gets that treatment. It's about how you overcome it. Because like, for example, let's not forget Rez's disappearance after IEM True. Oakland. Everyone was like, okay, this kid's good. Let's see what he does. And he had, you know, um, a set of moves that once learnt, once understood, suddenly reduce his potency. And that's something that I'm sure Boomich is processing in the same way now. Well, Inferno is an interesting one for Boomich. His aggression is uh, very well known. You'll see him at the sandbag especially. Thank you, Boomich, for the demonstration. He'll be there pretty much every <laughs> single round. So, uh, exactly watch out like for that. this. Here yeah. we are. So uh, you'll see him ducking and weaving, twinkle toes, they call him, by the sandbags. And we'll see whether he can find the first shot. He's got the confidence behind him with the AK-47. Flashbang from his teammates. And still fancies a juke here. We'll see him. Looking towards half all now, it's going to be flamey here with the incendiary in hand. I recently got a Bowie knife, guys. Yeah, Did you really? Today, yeah, I decided me and Boomich have got the same uh, same kind of style of knife now. It looks like a sword. It makes me feel like I'm going to win more knife rounds. Okay, Because we're playing excited. more ESCA. As long as you can be like a hinge, I don't really care. I can be like a hinge, but now I've got extra stab Big distance. old knife. You've, you've always been a man's man, Alex. A man's man with a big old blade. <laughs> and Dima does sit simple down, gives him a conversation, and already Pro 100 finding that first blood. But look at the price they've paid. Nades and bullets have brought two of them down to below 20. Not ideal. Certainly not, but they do have a five and four advantage. Where will they finish up though? We've got Flaney in transition from B. Boomage feels comfortable to patrol the banana area alone. And here comes the little pop flash or smoke, it looks like, from Waylander. So he'll set himself up towards underpass. He's responsible looking towards flanks as well. And they feel like they have mid-control. It's so not going to use the smoke oh, just dear. yet. They might even push that one. And indeed they will. One by one they have to go now. And Nickelback at least keeps the man advantage here. Through towards CT spot he goes with 20 seconds remaining. They are running out of time here. Three versus three. Electronic needs to find Nickelback. And he does a second as well for Perfecto. Nothing really Dima can do. He will go down in the end. An AK upgrade for all three of the remaining CTs as well. No complaints from Na'Vi as they remain undefeated. Beautiful smoke there. Na'Vi, very patient. You can see they've actually reeled it in some more, Chad. They're not entering with a lack of respect and pushing every round, as I probably would suggest going into this one. But now they've been humbled with a couple of losses going against them. It seems like Na'Vi, uh, for lack of a better expression, they're playing their own game and making sure they have respect for our Now, the early signs are pointing in that direction, but I want to give uh, maybe a couple more of these rounds to face. I Henry, just to make I know. sure. I, I realize I might have overstepped the mark here, but it looks good right now. <laughs> I'm happy with what I'm seeing. They're, they're making sure they win every round. No one's over aggressing. We're going to see a faster play and simple. Yeah, that's fine. He takes a little agander towards second middle. Spotted a few of them, confirmed they're on pistols, and he falls back. That's what we like to see. Can you guys do the quick maths for me? Has Dima screwed himself by going Mac 10 full armor here, or is this just a case of a deagle when everyone else um, is rocking. He's going to be maximum loss bonus after it's this. He's got, more, he's got a full buy of AK He's fully set. Yeah. Just wants to try and make a little additional impact in with that Mac 10. Yeah, if he gets one kill with it, that $600 will be very healthy going nice. forward. So uh, not the end of the world, as we'll see him with the Mac 10, joined by a Desert Eagles and a Tech 9. We've got him on one smoke as well. So presumably using that towards library or arch side. And here comes the swing now. A lot of damage being pumped out by Flamey. Three kills are picked up here and just... Yakunda. Is that what we're going with? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think, yeah. Imagine, like, yeah, Kinder Bueno. Yeah, Kinder. Yeah, Kinder Bueno. Yeah, just, just don't say no the Bueno part. I think for me, the yeah. way... No Bueno. That, for me, the way that the, the, way the R's Yekinda. sound at the end is like how we would say a lot I of things in Australian. Sort of accent, it? it's, kind of, it's coming out like a Japanese style when I'm saying it. Yeah. Yakunda. Yeah, yeah. Um, just Yakinda. He sounds like a general. Like, so just like, like, like Aza. Yakinda. Aza. Like Aza, but Yakinda. Yakinda surprise with yeah at the beginning is good. So. That's what Yekinda. I'm... Yeah, that's that. that. Honestly, it works for me. And just with the Dimmer one, guys, it is Dimmer sick because Dimmer is another player who is over in Esparta. And not to be confused, with Diha as well. Well, Diha, but yeah, the, he he uh, he's Polish. Yeah, uh, I'm just making sure we're not confusing yeah, the he's names. He's in Sprout, I'm pretty sure. Watch out for no, Diha. Wait, that's, uh, that's Snatchy. Dima, Dima, Dima sick. And 5-0, as you said, maximum loss bonus. As you can see, that AK still comes out. Well done, only AWP, 0 and 5. He's going to have a rough time out there. He's known as quite a, a volatile author. If he gets going, certainly can deliver huge numbers, but uh, historically known as a, a streaky author at best. We'll see Boomage. We said he's aggressive, and he is sending it this round, and it will cost him his life. Yakinda will take him down, and it's going to be a five on four. How was that?
I mean, I'm no expert, but it sounds good to me. All right. Feel free to shout us on Twitter for not knowing something we didn't know. If you want. Flashing towards the banana push on the push. I say that, Flamey's actually gone passive and I think they should think better of it. They're gonna be tucking in and rightfully so, considering there's a gathering of four, if not five members of Pro 100 just around this corner. He's jiggling. If he does get away with this smoke, it will buy them a solid 15 seconds. Uh-oh, no time. They're gonna disrespect that. They'll be pushing straight through. Flamey wants to do that as well. Oh my goodness, Perfecto has done enough initially. Trade it out and they cross into the side. Oh, the spray, and not clean from Simple, but it does yield a frag at least. 45 seconds, bomb to go grenade. down here, and Simple. He runs in, it was a very good grenade there, but it's three versus two, Electronic and Flamey with an incendiary smoke flashbang combo as well. Do they fancy it? Looks like they certainly do. This is an incendiary for the emo position at the back, right? This one can be very effective. The perfect time to drop it. You see Nickelback with 13 HP. He'll receive this incendiary, and if he takes one tick of damage from it, he's in trouble, oh, he's, he's in, in front. front. So that's pretty amazing, actually. Yeah, and he might even have a chance. Caught by Flamey now, and Dima 6 gone down as oh. well. Flamey, like a turret today, finds his eighth frag and the defuse. Pro 100 was set for their first. Navi think otherwise. I love that retake coming in from Na'Vi there. Very confident. Flamey stepping up as well. Another player that's got a bit of a question mark around him. Indeed. He seems like it's not certainly the best form we've seen from him. It certainly hasn't been alarm bells, but simple with the grenade there, trying to deny the plant and his teammates. They managed to deliver the goods here. The incendiary toward the back. Sure, it doesn't catch Nickel back there, but at least it means they have eradicated that risk. They don't have to check it themselves. And we do see a very clean retake there. And they'll pick up a couple more AK-47s. Or for simple, up against the five AKs here, Pro 100. Sure, they've got maximum loss bonus, but the bomb helps them out significantly. And do they want to start changing the pace a bit? Maybe go for a bit more of a rush. Time will tell. Simple ready with the orb. This is the first shot. We get a second chance. Nickelback's already taken down Boomage, though. M4 Dink into the AK advantage does leave him alive. 12 HP and banana control gained. And now it's Dima Sick who wants to take middle. He actually eats his own flashbang there. We'll have to give it a second. But very passive hold on the A for now. You've got Perfecto Long passive and he's about to be tested. Yekinda just removes his head. Spray control from Electronic and the smoke enables him to reposition. They're everywhere. And that round, surely Pro 100 is first. It looks good to me. Simple and flamey left in the four versus two. They're on the other side of the map and it will be Pro 100's first round here. Saving the AWP and AK-47. Simple and flamey will both be together. Flamey at the t step right now. Simple comes and joins him. It looks like Nickelback. He's on the hunt. He'll be searching for any players here, but only got 12 HP. Probably goes down here, but he actually comes out on top. Doesn't take any damage at all. Avoids the crater. That was a dangerous jump off the bridge there. Down to 4 HP. And simple now. Going through the grenades, working out what's available to him. Looks like he should be fine to save the orb, but the only problem is world edit coming down middle. So one thing that... Uh... <laughs> He's Why? missed another one as well. Ooh, okay, he keeps hold of his orb just about. My God, that was tense. Yeah, so the thing that I've noticed early from this Pro 100 side is that as soon as they get banana control or put any pressure on that bonus position or even find a frag, they are aware that the rotation is going to be very heavy over that B bomb site. Dimasik and you had uh, Yukenda, sorry, Yukenda going through the mid smoke just there. They just took it straight away, right? They didn't even have any hesitation. They were well aware that that rotation was coming on through. So let's see if they continue to try and exploit that. Now they'll be sending four players over towards secondary middle. So this is a change up altogether. It looks like faster paced. They want to go quick towards A. Yeah, smoke's deployed now towards the arch itself and the library. So a quick execution here from second middle. They're going to run the gauntlet here through the flames, extinguishing on route. And they've picked up the pace here, trying to get towards that. That is smoked off. They'll be taken down by Perfecto, spraying through the smoke of library here. As Demon Stick to be dropped, and Perfecto, he's got a chance of a second here. Yakinda, he'll be dropped on the back, and it's going to be simple from the arch side, and Waylander on edit. We'll see whether they can actually do anything with this now. AK-47 spraying wildly through the smoke, very chaotic. Still plenty of time here. Not clear who will get the next kill. There's now, though, as a quick double comes in from the Na'Vi members, securing their seventh and sending Pro 100 back into the pit of Squalor. Double kills for Simple in that one. He'll be happy to add another two, making it eight. And himself, Boomich and Flamey, the front runners for Na'Vi so far. Perfecto's up there with him. And Electronic just hasn't had but too much to do. He's the pit player, and they haven't been finishing on A, at least getting to the pit side. 
Yeah, much faster round this time from Pro 100. They did the set smokes from second middle towards the arc side and library. And just trying to group up, stick together, see if they could trade out kills. Unfortunately, quick rotation was simple. He was able to shoot them in the back through that smoke. Well done. Avoiding the flames towards the end of the pass. It's going to be a default round. You can see the bomb down towards T-Spawn suggest a very slow-paced effort here. Taking a kill back, nickel bag will be dropped. We'll see flashbangs delivered, four on four now, and going for that A side approach again, but the bomb is still down towards T spawn as we hit the minute mark. Kinder trying to catch Simple out, but far too wise to his tricks. He adds a second to his tally. Just three remain as they continue their advance towards A, but it's not a commitment. The bomb is T steps. I'm not sure what Dima Sick hopes to find here. Electronic playing the passive angle. Can hear the pin pulled and will avoid it, but didn't swing out. Perfecto, no information. They've progressed nicely up short now. Bomb's being retrieved as well. Yeah, that's the problem though, because they could actually lose some frags here before they even bring the bomb over. Luckily, it will be Demistic though. Sneaky on towards the A side. Perfecto dropped, and now they really need to get the skates on. Electronic, he's got a free shot at the bomb carrier. Can he get the double kill? He absolutely delivers. And Demistic now left in a three versus one. Ten seconds again, they run out of time here with a quick pace strategy as well. It's Electronic patiently in a pit that completely sabotages their efforts. Is the time? bomb? No, no, can't plant it, unfortunately. All right, guys. Well, we're going to jump into Skybox right now, and I want to show you a smoke that Nickelback's throwing at the start of the round here to isolate Banana. So you just saw the position he was standing in. We go towards top Banana, and this drops at the wall. Now, the reason I want to bring this out is because what this is doing is inviting Boomich to come and play Sandbag. It's saying, hey, we could be behind the smoke. We know you love to play Sandbag. And he actually went there and played behind it for some of the rounds. So look out for that. They might start stacking grenades on his position with this half-wall smoke coming on through from spawn. Mm, okay, so they're trying to give him just enough rope to hang himself. It's a tactical timeout from Pro 100 here. They're first, still with a maximum loss bonus, and haven't been able to plant the bomb in the last couple of rounds here. It's Dima. They will have no extra money. He saves the AK-47 from the previous round. Unfortunately, still with $750. Means he can get a smoke and a couple of flashes. But for now, his teammates sub $4,000. I would say a partial buy could be on the agenda here. Well under Nickelback and Mornetta, way up their options. So we'll be the partial for a couple of them. Deagle armor for Nickelback. Full investment from Waylander who gets the AK-47 and armor. Well done at the AWP up. He is on a full eco. There's the Deagle armor after freeze time and a free and a pause is called. So. Yeah, the T-sided AWP, Henry, we know it's not going to work very well. No, we know not. We know he's going to get out of by simple here in this one. So if he does bring it out, it will be interesting to see what he can make work, but they still have to deal with this aggression in Banana and Flamey and Boomich. They're doing what they did in the early stages, getting right on down there, putting a lot of pressure on and even finding the opening kill. So Waylander purchased an AK, but he didn't even get a chance to shoot it. So this investment right here in round number 10 is quickly being dealt with. Let's see if Waldetta can get anything done himself now that he's scavenged that bad boy. Oh, oh he got the fight he was waiting yeah. for, but Waldetta collapsing to the Boomich M4. Yes, indeed. Well, this force by with a pause behind it as well, you'd expect a little bit more here, but the aggression of Na'Vi, the brutal aim as well, hasn't really done much for Pro 100. They're gonna limp in towards the B side of the map here. Unfortunately, Boomich, and of course, Flamey will be ready and waiting. Boomer's got a smoke available as well. Flashbang for Flamey, so there's a bit of a wombo combo about to be delivered here. Smoke will go down when they fill the full commitment. That's when Flamey will drop the flashbang. But they've been locked out for now. They're not going to be pushing that. They might even have to go back towards middle. Oh. This is a bit of a nightmare now. They don't really know what they can do. They've got two smokes. So B would be the most logical call because you can leave smoke off Coppins and CD spawn and then see if you can find a couple of frags. So there's the first smoke down. That sounds like he landed in spawn and the Coffin smoke goes as well. So the bomb falls back. It's a fake here. Going to be sending a nickel back alone and then they've got 20 seconds to try and convince them that they've all gone B with one player just going in alone here. I mean, it's kind of convincing three of them. If, he, if Dean Nickelback could just get one kill. Oh, Electronic's so passive. He's so wise to their tricks. And just as they turn to find him, Perfecto can strike and he will double kill with their attention drawn. A perfect crossfire from Na'Vi.
Running out of gas here, boys. Pro 100. That was pretty much everything they had here. Luckily, the maximum loss bonus, they still will have AKs available to them, but that was a very disheartening round. They are getting battered and bruised out there. Na'Vi not taking the bait whatsoever, and it's a big kill for Perfecto to close things out there. He gets two in the round. Only had to do 31 damage, apparently, but he'll take Thank that all Thank you, the Electronic. Off. Yeah. Pro 100 have to change the pace, I think. I think they need to be a little bit quicker and scrappier if they want to capitalize yeah. on the way that Na'Vi are approaching this. So far, they've just set up a CT-sided wall, and the only way to break that down might be some pace. Yeah, let, let's start being five-man groups. Let's start running up and just trying to uh, steal away a kill. Let's get some rounds on the board. If the defaults aren't working, they're out-aiming you. Now that lack of respect is starting to shine on through. Incendiary down for Boom Edge. He throws that towards the Logs position. And we have got a partial buy here with a Demasic AK-47 as well. So they need at least a bomb here. Smoke off towards Boiler makes things oh, quite frustrating there. Here we Smoke go. Not ideal Four men out. Sure. A flash from Quad. Electronics in a brilliant spot for it. They smoke off the pit side. They clear pit. And he's going to want to throw his own smoke out. Peeking oh. above it, it's perfect. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Have pit, you can't plant there. Pushing through now. Yekinda finds one. This is promising. A second as he darts away. Nickelback, if they push that smoke, he's screwed. Damage, though, inflicted towards Boomich. Could soften him up for Yekinda. Another connection. A single deagle bullet to Boomich, and he's on. But no, caught off guard, and the flash was coming as well. Navi, 10. Good effort. That's all I can say at this point. Pro 100 are 10 1 down. Uh, it's still a chance to get three or four rounds here, but the money's running so thin. What if it brings out the AWP again? And uh, we'll see if they can make anything of this one. Thing is, for Navi, they still need to maintain some level of discipline here. It feels like an easy game right now, but this can quickly turn into an 11 4 chat, and we know what happens there. Yeah, they should be trying to walk away from this half with at least 12 rounds in the exactly, back pocket yeah. here. That's, uh, that one is a death sentence of a scoreline, most would say. So let's see how many more they can mount, or let's see if Pro 100 have anything to battle back in with the nades, and normal fray of utility will go down in Banana, but this time they want to put a little more pressure on Boomich. Nades so, and Molotovs to follow. Oof, he was thinking about it, wasn't he? He wanted to get stuck in. He still does. So he normally gets flashed over, loves to go for the swing. Once again, though, back to the smoke slash flashbang setup here. Boomers to drop the, the smoke when required. Flame, you can flash him in. Oh, Simple's coming as well, Henry. Oh, dear. He's coming. He looks a bit mad as well. The AWP's ready and waiting. Five Pro 100 players get ready for their commitment. Smoke goes down. Flame with the flashbang. Boomage will be set up eventually, but it's still two kills. Make it three. All headshots for Flamey. That is superb. Can't ask for more than that, but he still delivers another Four kills, well dead at staring at the floor, wondering what on earth he's supposed <laughs> to do with this one. Oh yeah, this one might be done, I'm afraid, well dead at. Could save the AWP, I suppose. Not really much else to do. Less than a minute remaining, he's got a bomb on his back. He won't be winning this round, I'll tell you that much, but even if he got a couple of kills, boys... Hold up, they've it. rotated four over to the B side. If he has the bomb on his back right here and he takes down Electronic, who's in transition, he gets a chance to plant. So missing the shot, that is a problem. Rotation coming now. He still has an opportunity. The no-scope's good. Yeah, that was something. Okie dokie. No kill feed icon, so Electronic not going to be extra mad, but... Finding the first in a bomb plan. That's a whole lot more you could than you could have asked for or expected. No one expected this. Yeah. I don't know why they've got four towards B. Chad's dead on. It doesn't really make much sense. Uh, but here we are. It's actually a one versus five. Now a one on four. What well, that it? With the AWP, you never know. This could be his swan song. His entry into 2020. Let's see what he's made of. Another shot connects here. They do are... They're going to start jumping on the bomb and defusing any moment now. And that's a real problem. We'll see if he can find another. Okay, Flamey finds his ace in the end. A phenomenal 4K and finishing off after a somewhat of an awkward plant. Clutch could have come in from World Edit. A good push towards middle. Knew he had to take some fights, but doesn't work out for Pro 100. Yeah, I felt less threatened at the idea of World Edit actually being able to win that than the fact that now they give themselves enough money to have a threatening buy. That plant with the max loss bonus has now guaranteed yeah. Pro 100 4K+. plus for the majority of their individuals right here and taking that in with AK-47 full utility. Maybe one of those pocket strats or faster strats that we've been hoping for can come out of the bag now because we can see the guns are there, the utility to follow. This is Pro 100's last chance. Let's see what they can do with it. 11-4 would certainly be workable. Simple, rattling off a shot there towards T-Steps. There's no one on the T-side now. Well done it. Managed to get the bomb down, but that was about it. Waylander working things up though. Boomage aggressive once again. It's time of five versus four. Looking much better here. Can they hold on to it? 
They have to keep three at A because it seems like the, the game plan of Pro 100 is just to either push Boomich back, get that kill, and then just pounce on the A bomb site. They know how heavy this rotation has been historically. Navi have struggled with it in the past, and that's recent history. They're aware of this, and there's still a chance for them to get four rounds on this T side. Good timing on that utility from Simple. You can see they were setting up. The nade almost confirms what he had suspected. And so with that set of util, he's at least bought them the time. It looks like they're planning to return to middle, though. And Simple's already considering a rotate. He's floating through Arch. My goodness. Going back towards the library now. But he does look like he's lost in limbo. Electronic, he's got a lot of responsibility if they do finish A. But they're just so worried about B because Boomich and, and Flamey during Pro League were so bad at holding it. that It's stuck in their mind. The residual effects of having them fail time and time again is why we're seeing this setup from Na'Vi on the A site. 30 seconds, and it's going to be Arch where they choose to go. And there's a big, a bad wolf on the other side. Simple holding the door here. He will miss a couple of shots on characteristic by his standards. Flashbang comes through and he'll be flashing out of the library here. Get yeah, tucked himself into oh. a cubby hole. Surely they're aware of it. Indeed, they will be pre-firing that. And I probably to still win this round. A double kill required. It's not found, and that's gonna be the second here for Pro 100. What happened to two? Here we go. Opening the floodgates now. We'll see if they're floodgates or merely a cat flap. Pro 100 just for their second. Perfecto will not hold on to his M4. There's plenty of cash to splash, so not too much damage dealt. But let's see if Pro 100 can keep this competitive. An 11 4 half. It's the most deceiving of yeah. all score lines, apparently. It's it's one of those situations now I feel like the fact Boomich is going down alone a B, it's like the old tendency starting to creep forward. Uh, maybe you want to avoid those. That's when they lose rounds, when he dies with nothing going on. Yeah, when they haven't given away an opening pick, it's seemed very unlikely that Pro 100 are going to win the round, right? But once yeah. they can get that pick, we can clearly see what it's doing to that CT side of rotation. Especially with these rounds as well, they no longer have the AK-47. So if they the AK, sure, I can, you can justify that. You're going with the picks, your aim is superior, no problem. When you got the M4s out, oh, let's maybe reel in into the crossfires, work together and make sure every kill that comes forward is traded out. You can see Boomer is just chomping in a bit here, wants to get stuck in it again. I'm, I, I really dislike this approach. Man. This happens way too often. It helps us be going down alone, and every team just exploits it. I don't yeah, know why they never so, really adjust there. So the round that they lost at the B-bomb site earlier, or the round that they were fighting at the B-bomb site earlier even, was they were letting them execute. They had numbers on the site, right? It wasn't having to fight hemorrhage down a man. But in the last couple, Boomich has gone back to those old tricks. So Simple has been able to... Level the playing field at four to four. If he finds this frag right here at top mid, well, this would be perfect. So now they're back in balance and they're set up in a two-two. Things are starting to look good for Navi. Very, very good. And getting in front of that smoke is everything for Flamey. He can confirm. Oh, I was gonna say he can confirm. I don't think Waylander can actually push through that. It's quite a deceptive smoke. You'll be gray screened as you try and clear that side, and doesn't doesn't matter at this point. Or does when Perfecto is hitting shots like that, just tapping away. Two heads leave. And puts World Edit in a one versus four. He has the Molotov for new box. That's something. Yeah, he managed to get the bomb down before on a one versus five. We'll see what he can do with this one. Down to, well, zero HP is perfecto of the hat trick. And 12-2 found. Even with Boomage going down early, they have a very convincing hold at the end. It's round 15 and Pro 100 still with cash available after winning the previous round of five players surviving. So it won't be eco at least round number 15, but they certainly need the round. 13-2 on your own pick will simply not do. I think what they should do is kind of have Perfecto as the three-man B-lean player all the time. And then if they go for aggressive banana control and they're unable to get it, they get forced back by nades, let Boomich go back to be the A player and let Perfecto and Flamey anchor that site. Mm. If you want to go hyper-aggressive and take control of banana and have the all-in, don't just do it with Boomich, do it with the rest of the team so that you can guarantee that banana control. So maybe some slight adjustments here for Na'Vi, but who cares? They're winning 12 to two right now. Boomich has just found the opening, finally getting the better of Waylander here, who seems to have been having his way in banana. And they've set themselves up with an early opening advantage. So. This one here should be rinse and repeat. Now they can just isolate towards top banana and top middle with the utility they have remaining. We can see a couple of smokes, a couple of Molotovs still in play, flashes and HEs, and while Simple's AWP, it was picking top middle. He smoked off. Dimasik is now doing his best to take some territory. First kill found, Wayland up. Closing out the half of four and 13. It's been a rough one for Pro 100, showing some promise and the rounds they've been allowed to operate in. Bomb down 
towards B for now. They've got an opening pick. Well, that it gets a double. Still got some fire within him, it seems. Looking for that 12-3 scoreline. And they've got a four versus three. Bomb will be going towards a B bomb site. And we've got Simple to deal with this. Smoke down, presumably. He'll be flashing on the corner. Good flash. Well, that it will have to reposition. It's enough space for him to at least cross. That's half the battle done. But Simple would have to do something ridiculous if he plans to go for this. I mean, with a three versus four, there is a chance for a boost CT. The last round, they have to go. A lot of noise here. Gets a lot of space, though. Smoke as well towards the banana. This is going to be promising. Looking for the wall bang on. Yekendary was overexposed, but for now, this is looking promising for Pro 100. Last chance, saloon for Na'Vi. They group up, they push through. A smoke grenade would have been a dream, but instead, it'll have to be bullets, and yeah. Not quite going to connect the necessary one. Simple's done great work, but for today's game, after a loss to Virtus Pro, it seems that they realize that their road to Rio could be bumpy unless they buckle their shoes, and they certainly have alongside other uh, performances from Simple. Boomich as well at the top of the scoreboard as promising, considering Inferno has had their woes. Pro 100 just have not posted too much of a threat so far. Yeah, a couple of interesting moments there, but mainly given rounds by the over-aggression from Na'Vi, which is to be expected. Boomich likes to take matters into his own hands, but still, they have a 12-3 score. You see the odds reflecting the possibility of success here for Na'Vi. Is he can switch over to the T-side now? Simple will have the P250 armor combo, as to be expected, oh, and that's why, okay. Chad. That's why you give him Oof. the P250, because that's what he can do with it. Yeah, it's leveled the playing field of those USPs very quickly here, and now pressure on Banana. We've got smokes of plenty, a flash as well. Waylander, you better hit some absolute bangers here, mate, or you're in a bit of trouble. Oh, my God, yeah, especially Off if they the send smoke. the P250 in first. The smoke forces him out. He pushes through. Looking for an angle. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh God. I just assumed he's safe. Oh, this would be a pretty good spot. Well, no, Simple's pre-fired him and taking him down. Perfecto's <laughs> going to get at least one here, maybe a couple. First will be his in the form of Nickelback. Nice shot and return, and they've actually got a chance got here. Another. Simple will get his third. He's on for the ace now, and he certainly wants it. Whoa. Good shot from World Edit. Two on two. They've got a chance here. Smoke as well, so they have a kit. They could win this one. It's got, they've got all the ingredients. Let's see if they can cook anything special up. Smoke's a bit off meta as well. You can see it's by the uh, front of new boxes. Easy for Flamey to play. The smoke is in the right spot, though. They're it. on it. Looks like well, it can take it. No one's off the bomb, and it is. Pro 100 successful defuse. World edits banging shot onto Simple. Gets them into that round. They should have really been able to do more with that crossfire. I guess getting to the barrel position a little bit too late to actually help on out Perfecto there. But all of Simple's good work in vain, I Just would say. Over aggressive towards Banana once again. Like they're, they're not playing for the safety of the bomb. They're playing for the kills and closing it out very quickly against the USP. Pieces you mentioned, Chad, you want to be very careful against them. You want to make them work for it. Make the fights close range. They don't have the advantage. It was great work, to be fair, from the likes of Nickelback and Logstam. That was well played from Na'Vi there, but could have tightened it up. We first traded, they gave that one away. And now Simple with the Hero AK-47, trying to crack this round open if possible. Pro 100 have three MP9s and two M4s. Yeah, well, watch Simple, uh, I was going to say, redeem himself. But he did enough last round. So dropping that AK-47 right here, nobody was in trading distance. That's simple trying to make matters into his own hands. Flamey will be two close rifles. enough. That's good news. They don't have armor to go with it, but now there are two rifles available. Perfecto will grab the AK-47. Flamey has the M4. So two rifles on either side with Desert Eagles as well oh, to go with Navi set up here. Control. For the apartment, surely, electronic will be taken down here. It's such a difficult angle. Oh. God, he wall bangs him as well. Look at the bullet hole through the wall. He's legit just wall banged him. And we do have a chance of another kill here. Well done, it down to 31. The and flank. The bomb. They're going up quad and apps. Two CTs clearing middle now. They'll not surely work this. this one out. It's so fast. Yeah, that's Boomich completely caught off. His nade was destined for well dead, and he could have very well killed him if he just put a little bit more top spin on it. Yakinda will be on this site here, and with the MP9, it looks like he's absolutely fine. Remember, they've got no armor. Oh, he does make a massive footstep there. So, Electronic hears that. Swings onto his position. Now knows exactly where he is, but well, that it gets the flag. That's from the outside. Three versus one. After a couple of exciting kills, here, Perfecto gets one more. And uh, they'll be going up this next round anyway. So, his three kills are huge. Simple with 2400. He can go deal armor or be dropped in AK. They're feeling very charitable. The 12 5 Pro 100 will be feeling the burn here. Yeah, that kill from World well it really did get the oh. wheels in motion. A great reaction from Electronic as he clears his corners astutely. And the third frag from World well it was where the round was confirmed. Supporting his teammates' push. Nice work from the editor of Worlds. Top of the scoreboard for Pro 100. 
And now it's time for round 18. We do see Simple on that Deagle. Everyone else rocking the full AK and utility set. Could get hot and heavy for Yekinder if he stays towards Banana Aggressive, but three defaulting towards B at the start of this round. Yeah, and lots of utility being exchanged here as well. Navi are just waiting this out. They haven't taken a lick of damage thus far oh. until now. Boomage goes down. At least that's an AK available for Simple to pick on up, and he will do so. So to level the playing field, Perfecto moving forward on the flash. They get Banana Control now. They already have Boiler. They need to get top mid. Smoke towards the porch side. That'll be the signal. Flamey peers on out. Sector clear. And now they have both parts of the map that they require. I just got that AK as well, guys. I'm really, I'm really excited by this the skins one. This one, the default now. one. The Empress one. Oh, okay. It's real pretty. I got jealous because Henry had all these really, really cool looking skins for every really weapon he owned. Really expensive. Like everything he looked like was like Versace, his bank Gucci, account AK. Didn't look great, but his uh, inventory was. So fantastic. now I can compete at least. Yeah. You know? I feel like I, I, I'm bringing my freshest clothes at the coolest restaurants. <laughs> When the restaurants open back up. Yeah, please. obviously. Well, there's a restaurant at the moment in our house. I do a bit of cooking, yes. you know. Honestly. Virtual's Dino is fantastic. It, it, I've slowly been, you know, observing the development of your cooking ability, Chad, over this, like, this three-week period. There's more spices now. There's more seasoning and spice in the server. As simple makes that recovered AK-47, the equalizer. Two wrapping long. This is going to get real difficult for Waylander. If he goes down before his teammate, well, then it can do anything. Oh, dear. Yeah. Knocked off his perch. They can focus on the site. And just like that, the A site is now wide open. Four versus two. Yakinda and Nickelback both towards B. They're going to have to save here with a bottom of the barrel loss bonus as well. They get $1,400 into the next round. And remember how expensive it was. That saved AK before. So money low. Waylander, Dima, and World Edit down at zero. Akinda and Nickelback will have to save these weapons here, the AK-47 especially. Doesn't seem to be much of a hunt here for Na'Vi, as you'd expect. They don't really have the resources to go on a manhunt here. And that's going to be the first round of the second half, 13-5. Green, are you with us? Hello. How are you doing today, Rush? We um, haven't checked in. Yeah, I'm doing well. I haven't even spoke to you guys at all today. Yeah, what are you wearing today? We haven't seen you on camera. Uh, well, you could probably guess what I'm wearing. A black uh, lumber shirt. shirt. Oh. Yeah, with some kind of lumber okay. jacket. What color shirt. today, Rush? It's like a greenish color. Oh, we got me up. Let there me turn on my little light. So you can really see beauty it. Light. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, nice. So, is it a ring okay. light? It's a little bit thick, yeah. but, uh, you know, it's not too warm outside. Do you know what the German word for thick is? Uh, yes, I'm not going to say it. What is it? it? Uh, um, well, it's go on, German. Alex. Let, let us know. Wait, no, I German. don't know it. You live here. We do here. some Germans gonna... in the room. Maybe they can. Don't let him bait you into it, Rush. <laughs> He's squirming. I like don't it. Don't let him bait you into <laughs> it. I don't want to say it uh, out loud, to be honest. Okay. Well, we'll say some stuff out loud and get back into the game here because Na'Vi have now broken the money. Pro 100 have no other option but to force buy here. They can still make something work. They have three rifles in place, some upgraded pistols, and the snapping turtles out, Henry. Oh, the snapping turtle, the 5-7. We're big fans of it here. <laughs> it's going to be well at it, ready to go. And you kid this freeze around the corner. He gets two frags. You can see the flashbang very effective there from Nickelback as well. So they've got two opening kills. And he'll fall back cleanly as well. A perfect little gambit there towards the top of middle. And Flamey, he might be cheating. See the, the deagle on the left. He can see him, oh. and he reacts. But it's well to take him down. Four versus two then, Pro 100, they're making this one work. It's down to the simple and perfecto combo to clutch it out and looking positive. Oh, that shot was everything. Simple does manage to land the trade and now thrust into a one versus two, faking it, interestingly enough. Yeah, Kinder may not be expecting the push up. He will now though, and a quick, oh, simple. He finds four in the round, but what a snap. That's, yeah, that deserves some shots on the floor there. That was absolutely wild i almost <laughs> swore then that was kind of crazy so confident like he's gone for the fake plan he's like oh it's gonna take ages it's like 45 <laughs> seconds this one. i'll just go and take care of them come to me come boys to come Let's to go. me oh dear and uh, there it is he really did make a statement there i'm kind of speechless yeah, i saw the way you looked at me just then after yeah, that happened it's, I was like, like, it's like you've watched something you shouldn't be allowed to watch <laughs> is, is, are we allowed to do it's, what's the time is, isn't this after 8 p.m that's yeah. the type of we haven't hit the watershed yet <laughs> Good grief. Well, that's going to be sobering for Pro 100. Suddenly they feel a little shell-shocked, ears ringing, and uh, another round of Counter-Strike to be played. It doesn't seem like Yekin has fallen. Just beheading them. Boomich and Perfecto heads shaved. Well, he managed to get two opening frags before and still simple one other round. So for map points here, Na'Vi in a five versus three. Well, Edit with a scout. He's already here, two tags, and that's surely the round at this point. Yeah. Three on five, simple and electronic already tagged. Bit too aggressive on that side of things, and they'll just be slowing it down now, seeing if they can recover. But, you know, let's not dis... Like, it's easy to just see those two frags and then watch the minute and it concludes, and we're like, okay, we expected that. The fact that they, this is another... Just deagles and yeah. smokes. 
And this round is now one in the first 20 seconds, the first opening fights. And that's all just off one individual, right? Yeah. So that's just showing you the potency of players and their mechanical ability. I'm surprised that Navi are going for this. And I know that seems silly, considering after those kills went down, we still had over a minute left on the clock. But this is Navi. They're very conservative. You can see Simple, he's dropped that... Uh, Oh, he's got the AK back now. I was going to say he might only go in with the Deagle here so they don't give up too many rifles. But they want to go for this. So Smoke over the top. Well done it with the Scout. Just has to hit another shot to convert some of his earlier tags. But the rotation's in here. This is going to be super difficult. Yeah, that's the first bit of damage dealt in favor of Na'Vi. And now Nickelback. Even that CZ is potent considering the current state of affairs. Electronics on the backup. Running straight into Waylander's Deagle. One bullet for each. Or yeah. one bullet for both. <laughs> Even better. That would do. Very efficient stuff from Waylander. They're still in this one. As we'll see, I would say an eco from Na'Vi, but you never know these days. It, it makes sense they take an eco. But the Kinder, once again, Good he got stuff. double kills the AK-47 before this time with the Desert Eagle. One bullet for both. <laughs> it's electronic and simple, getting a taste of their own medicine. So, as I mentioned, with the loss bonus and $1,900 next round, they can buy going forward. So some very light investments made here. A bit too much in a couple of cases, but we'll see what they can make of it. And round at number 21 now. Ooh, they're they're showing some this. confidence here. Ooh, we don't like this against the pistols. Not necessarily. Boomer's a good flashbang as well. This is his area. He knows how to operate on the banana side. Yeah, Kinder, maybe not so much. It's a bit scrappy, but still gets a kill required there. And we have a three versus two. AK fan for Electronic Waylander. You've got to be feeling brave, my friend. Good grenade. Should save the round. Yeah, that really screwed Electronic's chances. Just ate it. Down to 14, he'll be hunted by Waylander. He's got the tight line. So, Pro 100, they do manage to claw themselves a couple of rounds back to back, converting not only the pistol armor, but now the following, which does leave Na'Vi with uh, the scraps. Yeah, I'm not sure if they want to buy right here. Simple only has 3,700. As I said at the AK, it's AK out, armor, course, I guess. Of course. Yeah, it's just they won't have any utility to work Nothing. with. And now Pro 100 have actually built up a, a very decent buy here. We can see rifles across the board, AWP for world edit, diffuse kits are plenty, utility is looking good as well. So Navi might need to wait out this utility usage or do something a little bit quicker and as a pack so that they can capitalize if an opening kill does come on through. Right now, it appears to be the default spread. Two towards the T-stairs, a couple in alt middle. They're not contesting for banana control early. They don't really have the nades to do so. But now they're getting a bit of a bit of a move on. We can see them starting to posture for A. Up mid they go, and there's another oh, double. Oh, dear. That's going to be a very nasty way to see the round slow right down. Electronic could have picked up the pace had he found it, but instead, he's likely going to get caught full flashed here. And yeah, a free frag for Demasic. Another potentially on the cards as well. Spots him in apps. Perfecto, though, by keeping things competitive, there's three CTs on A, but the, rightfully so. The bomb is there as well. Perfecto. Running to Banana is not going to get you far. He does find a smoke at least. So that was at the bottom of Banana. So a chance for them to maybe grab the bomb off this little excursion. Let's see whether he can chuck it on top of the bomb. They could go back towards B. So if he did that, it would be a masterclass move. They could go back towards B and avoid taking any damage. I don't think that's going to happen, but if they did, it would be pretty wild. There's the flashbang. What are they going to do with this smoke? Apparently not much just yet. Flamey will not be throwing it at least. Perfecto now in a three versus zero. It's going to be him taken out as Pro 100 pick up another round here, and they'll save two AK-47s, the AWP, and they've shattered the money of Na'Vi here. So we've got a few more rounds to go here, boys. Yeah, I don't feel worried about Pro 100 taking this map away from Definitely Na'Vi, not. but I do think that Na'Vi will concede quite a few more rounds before they close, right? I, I think that they have a couple more in their, in their midst where they do like a buy where they don't have everything on their side, a couple of upgrades that they maybe shouldn't, and then they'll get it back together and close it out with one of those set plays. But right now, if we look at the scores on the doors, 24 for Simple, you've got 18 for Flamey, 17 for Perfecto, 15 for Boomich. Down the bottom there is Electronic continuing this form of only eight kills. So maybe on the T half, we need to see him as an entry frag at lifting the team up here. Oh, Simple is just being harassed. Yeah, the grenades landing at his front door. So Pro 100 certainly getting warmed up now. You felt like after a 12-3 half, this would be Pretty conclusive, but unable to close things out just yet. Let's the PD-50s and Deagles. No grenades or Kevlar to speak of. Kinder will be challenging towards the T-steps. They're looking very good on the CT side, I have to say. Very confident. As he battles forward now, looking to just close things down 
Four players stacked towards the A side of the map, so he wants to make sure he asserts his dominance here. I never watch you play Banana B side at this point in the game because I'm usually, you know, somewhere else. Hank, do you do the jumpy for info thing? Just this little. I don't because we're normally at this stage we'll go for banana control at the start, and we'll normally go for crossfires. We don't normally do like, especially like in a team game, you wouldn't be doing a massive anchor. I think, especially on ecos. Yeah, I've just noticed more and more, you know, developments in the yeah. the, the jump for info. Every different player's got their own angle, and it keeps changing as to what is the meta jump. It seems that Yekin is doing the most common of 2020. For now, though, they're just hoping and praying they could find a couple of those pistol frags for a plant, but those frags aren't coming easy, and Yekin is still holding the line. Simple does manage to tap away at one. If they found another, it's a big if, though. An electronic with eight frags to his name doesn't look like the knight's coming in just yet. Yeah, nice work from Yekinda there, making sure the bomb bombs go down. You can see him being very disciplined, doesn't swing out, waits for all the teammates to rotate and respawn as well. Just in case he gets dropped, there's no chance of the round swelling for Na'Vi. So Pro 100 actually got the chance of getting double digits here. What a great campaign it's been in the second half. Yeah, they even have more opening kills than yeah. Na'Vi at this point. So the tides are starting to turn. We have tied up in terms of multi-frags as well, 19 apiece. As the AKs will come out. So Na'Vi getting their first full buy round on the board in what seems like quite a few. This is a four round stretch. And it's a four man B lane. Look at this from Pro 100. They really want to deal with Banana here. So it's going to be a lot of utility down early. Normally two individuals throwing all of their nades, smokes and flashes. And then the second two can go for a second wave. And that's what's coming on in. But the rotation, all the pressure on Waylander. He's holding A by himself. He's oh. going to give it his best shot. An incendiary two on library. How is Boomich not dead? Demon Sync did half the heavy lifting, but it's walled at it straight through the smoke. Well, Lander continues to hold the line. He's doing a great job. Perfecto's caught out as well. And the trade, where is it? Flamey caught by Waylander. What a hold. That's going to be three in total. Simple thrust into a one versus three. 26 kills to his name, and he will be dropping the smoke towards the pit, suggesting he's crossed over at this point. Great grenade, grenade as well, does a lot of damage. If he jumps up on this box here, he could be onto something. He'll tuck himself in the corner for now. So the smoke suggesting he's in a pit right now. That's what he's banking on. No one's going to check the bomb site, and he'll hold on and see if anyone jumps up to his position, which they will. Great shot to kick things off here. Second <gasps> and third. Not quite going to happen there. Best effort you'll probably ever see in a three versus one. One more bullet would have done it. Not quite enough. Respect. The smoke was such a, a, a work of genius it as was, well. Man. Like, the, there is no way he wins uh, a one versus three with three players immediately clearing the only op op possibility, which was sight. I think that the nade as well, landing on Waylander, was very important in that situation because Waylander would have been scoped up watching that quad yeah. line through library. So that nade, if it wasn't thrown, the smoke yeah. wouldn't have been there and Waylander probably could have seen that line the entire time. So... Uh, Good stuff by Simple to make it expensive at least, but it's not the round on the board. So he will be opting for the AWP of his own. It means he needs to be offered up a pick to make this happen. So some early nades and Wayland is there. I'm sorry, Welder is there. He's, got he's walking middle. down middle and he's found the first frag. Couldn't be contested with a tight line held by Simple. And just like that, another opening frag favors Pro 100. We said they were leading and that's just another for the tally. Oh, he's getting confident once again. Yakinda is showing us what he's made of. I, he could have got out of that one. He wanted to go for glory. I don't blame him. They still have a four versus three. Boomich and Simple low. He's been doing so well over there. The young step showing us what he's made of, that confidence. Looking so sharp. And we'll see Simple now with the AWP already been naded. Well done, Ed. Ready and waiting with the sniper as well on the other side. A bit of an off angle. Simple won't be aware of it, but it's quite common. Takes the shot, wants to re-peek, and Simple had the line. Surprise, it doesn't find him. Between the legs, perhaps. Nickelback gonna be cooked up, and why is he waiting? That's why they will procedurally clear. He exploits the gap in their crosshair, and now the bomb can be planted. Does look like Wild Dead has got a good idea of where Simple's planting, but his two shots straight through the smoke don't connect, and Simple's does towards Banana. 29th frag found. Will it be the round, though? It does look good for Simple here, but the smoke and incendiary could be an issue. He'll be jumping up towards Harful right now, setting up flashes by the looks of things for his teammate. Gonna jump up once again, nails it for a second time. Perfect flashbang, a little bit late. If he nailed the jump on the first shot, could have been enough, but for now, Simple, two versus one. It's heavy damage towards World Editor. They know exactly where he is. They've got kids here. One of them will have to defuse, and now the advantage towards Simple. He's done enough. It's gonna be map point as Na'Vi 
Managed to win out once again. It's courtesy of Simba with three more kills. <laughs> Oh, Lord. So, you know, it's been a while since I casted an RV game. I forgot what it feels like. He said in the interview that him and his team need to do more. I don't know how much more this man can do. Well, he didn't win the 1v3 before, Chad. Yeah, he I could have done only got, kills. He now. only got three P250 kills on the pistol, <laughs> and then they still lost. So if he got five, they, they probably exactly. wouldn't be in this. Exactly. Now you understand enough. what he's talking about. Yeah, if he just kills them all. Come on, Simple. How many How just many you want? to know here, we talked about electronics low form here. Yeah. I'm not saying stats or everything, but 9 and 16 and a player that is expected to be one of the Stars against Pro 100, and they're Again. crawling back into this game. Like, the alarm bells are going off at this point. They have got a four and four, but Boomich tagged in the process. Well done, it catches his leg. They go back. MP9 fires off some bullets here. It'll be Dima tucked in towards sandbags. Flamey has gone down to that second mid push two rounds in a row now. He is going to start getting a little furious if, again, he's not allowed to play after the first 10 seconds of the round. The lineup is perfect. It will be on the call of Dima Sick. It should be now. Yep, here we go. Looks really positive, but oh, perfecto. He got his crosshair where it needed to be. This is a big frag, and that opens up the site. One remains. It's World Edit, an AWP, and a, a whole set of Kevlar. It could be enough oh. for the first. Oh, no. Oh, How did he that. not hit that? That was the chance. Waylander gets him another one. That was towards the bottom of middle. Electronic removed again. AWP and CT spawn. No kits available. Doesn't look good here, boys. We he saw knows, him. He did see him for sure. So that is a chance. That's a kill in my book. Simple though. Will he offer it up? Nice. And Waylander got another one. They know where Perfecto is. He's low as well. This will be the quad kill. A 10-second ninja defuse. Waylander surely not getting